struggling with poisonous toxins and a stench that has scared away business for years. In eastern Nebraska, an ethanol plant is upsetting residents of Mead. Jody Weibel lives nearby. We thought they were using field corn like every other one but one in the whole country uses. They use old seed corn that's not viable anymore. Old seed corn has pesticides and fungicides on it. That remains in the leftover waste that's, there's tens of thousands of pounds here that sits here and rots. Alten has been cited with non-compliance of pollution rules. Officials say the ethanol plant is creating waste that's contaminating the air and water. Some days it smells like manure, some days it smells like sewer. The process is what produces the odor. We have had people come in and look to buy a house and they come on a day when it smells so bad and they go, I'm sorry, we can't do this. We've had people move away from town because the smell is so bad. Businesses don't want to come in. I've got a letter from the superintendent where it says they cannot open windows on days when the smell is really bad. The children can't go out for recess because it's a respiratory issue. The smell is one thing, but potential dangers for the roughly 500 residents are another, as residents like Pastor John Schnell share their worries. I've never had any allergies or any kind of symptoms before, and I lived in Mead for, I think, about seven years before they started this production of uh, toxic stuff, and all of a sudden I started having sinus problems, some congestion. And my neighbor's daughter had infected eyes. Just south of Mead, the town of Ashland is having a Zoom meeting to discuss how they can prevent Alten from affecting them too. The company has until March to remove the toxins, according to the Nebraska Department of Environment and Energy. Three years, I've I think nothing but cough, and it's because of that stuff sitting on the ground.